Over the past several weeks, Fox News' Sean Hannity has been hot on the trail investigating the case of murdered DNC staffer Seth Rich, who many people believe was murdered by someone closely connected to Hillary Clinton as a way to silence him. Hannity had been in the process of proving to America that Rich was the source of the massive DNC email leak, promising to disclose a bombshell on his show that would prove that Rich was murdered by Democrats. Now it appears that the powers that be are frantic to silence Hannity as well after a series of unfortunate events began to immediate plague the conservative talk host after he vowed to get to the bottom of the story. If you're not familiar with the story by now, DNC staffer Seth Rich was savagely murdered last July, right after feeding WikiLeaks with some very disturbing dirt on Hillary prior to the presidential election. Several weeks later, WikiLeaks would release thousands of emails related to Hillary as part of the infamous DNC leaks, but Rich at that point was already dead. After leaving his northwest D.C. neighborhood early Sunday morning on July 10, Rich was brutally shot multiple times before the shooter fled the scene, leaving zero evidence for authorities to solve the murder. It was an obvious intentional hit on his life and not a random robbing, as none of his personal items has been taken. Sean Hannity decided to start looking into Seth Rich's death even more closely after the lead detective on the case told Fox 5 in D.C. that local police have been continuously stonewalling the investigation while telling him to stand down on the Seth Rich murder investigation. Hannity even had infamous hacker Kim.com on his show earlier this week to discuss the hacker's claim that Seth Rich had provided WikiLeaks with internal Democratic Party emails. But it didn't take long for Hillary Clinton's evil talents to start ripping apart all possibilities of her hit job being discovered. Hannity was going to present smoking gun proof that Seth Rich had been murdered earlier this week, but for some odd reason in the 11th hour. Seth Rich's own family, who previously wanted answers, suddenly became belligerent. Not only did they demand that Hannity stop talking about their son's murder, but they appeared to have hired DNC attorneys to go after Fox News and Hannity, pressuring the network to pull and retract the story. Rather than sticking to their guns to expose the truth, Fox News then blasted Hannity's journalism saying that it did not meet the high degree of editorial scrutiny we require for all our reporting. If that wasn't enough BS to last Hannity a lifetime, he just got borderline career-ending news on Wednesday after learning that a large number of companies are now pulling their ads from his show, after he vowed to his audience in the wake of Fox News' decision to pull the story that he'd continue investigating the mysterious circumstances around Seth Rich's death. Breitbart reported, a number of companies have pulled ads from Fox News host Sean Hannity's show Hannity after he pledged to continue investigating circumstances surrounding the death of murdered DNC employee Seth Rich. Companies including Cars.com, Peloton, and Lisa's Sleep have all given into pressure to cease advertising on the show over Hannity's pursuit of now retracted claims made by Fox News that murdered DNC employee Seth Rich had contact with WikiLeaks before his death. On Tuesday evening, Hannity invited internet entrepreneur Kim.com onto his show to discuss his claim that Seth Rich had provided WikiLeaks with internal Democratic Party emails. However, after Rich's family sent a letter to Fox demanding that Hannity not host Kim.com, the appearance was cancelled, with Hannity saying he made the decision out of respect for the family's wishes. In a series of tweets on Wednesday, Hannity accused figures including George Soros, David Brock of Media Matters, and failed presidential candidate Hillary Clinton of liberal fascism, after his advertisers were reportedly inundated with emails from left-wing groups asking them to stop advertising on the show. You can always tell if you're getting close to the truth by how the left responds to what's going on. Similarly to how liberal morons always scream you're a racist when you're winning an argument, on a larger scale with personalities on television. They'll simply be punished by having their revenue streams yanked by these huge corporations as a way to silence the person speaking the truth. Hannity was obviously on the trail of something huge, otherwise why would the left panic and start pressuring these companies to stop pressuring Hannity's show? Please do not forget to subscribe and like and comment because we want to hear your voice and thank you for watching.